Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new Daigo in the uh, style package. So we're gonna check it in depth into exterior details. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. Here's the first look of the new Taigo in the style package. Uh, white car in the background is a life. We're gonna check that one in the separate video. So subscribe if you wanna see that and click the bell to get notified. Now, uh, here's the look of the style package. We get the IQ lights with the uh, connected data running light. If we unlock the car, you can see that the top light turn into turn signals, mirrors and fold. Now, we have a nice gray metallic finish color. Uh, here are the IQ lights. There's a little bit glare, but you can see them. These turn into data running lights. And then you have your uh, LED headlights top turns into a turn signal. We also have LED fog lights on the bottom. And now um, we have a little chrome detail and we have a nice plastic black protection going around uh, the vehicle. So if you're going a little bit off-roading, it's nicely protected. Now there's a Christmas tree behind me. So I'm gonna step over here. You can see the front grill. There's a little air intake on the top and the bottom and the in the uh, style package you have the connected LED bar. We're gonna turn that uh, uh, at the end of the video but I'm gonna check the exterior uh, details so if we come a little bit closer here you can see standard lane assist camera light and rain sensor you have another sensor in the middle mirror there and uh, we're gonna come back to the specs they're here but I'm gonna check them later mirrors you have a physical blind spot you can see the turn signal towards the driver and as mentioned you have that plastic protection going around the vehicle uh, we've added paint to this this is also plastic but it just gives it a little contrast so it looks better and then you have also this protective plastics not to bump into other people's doors have the Volkswagen signature in the B pillar and in the style package you get the roof racks they're aluminium but it's silver finish in the life it's black have the little antenna there and then you have this standard black uh, finish kind of spoiler going slightly up following the body lines also tinted windows on the rear and uh, we have alloys in this case these are 20555 r17 you get the rear discs uh, on the life you get the drum brakes and if you check the car from the rear, looking elegant, with the connected LED taillights, we're gonna turn them on on the end of the video. And the difference on the style is you get this little chrome surrounding and again, plastic painted in silver. So let's open it up. Of course the car locked itself when you uh, go away. So, there you go, that's the cargo space. It's open, it's fairly tall, fairly tall on the top, like something like 170 perhaps. And over here we have the emergency triangle. You can unlock from the interior by pushing the key to the side. Have a little rubber stopper. We have a, a shelf on the top which you can remove. You're gonna put an umbrella on the top here. And then you can see the whole cargo space this is 440 liters it's a little uh, glare of the sun but you can see now better seats knocked down 60 40 no middle opening you have to add the points on the top now checking inside we have a set the points on all four sides we have one light on the right side one light uh, and we have these stoppers I'm gonna demonstrate that what they're for and you have grocery hooks on both ends uh, notable outlet you have a little space here on the side and the loading area is around five to six fingers up to this and then if you open this up this is what the stoppers are for uh, you can push the shelf up and then you can see the extra space on the bottom you have a spare tire Volkswagen decided to put this back in the story um, I believe this is better to have a spare tire rather than the patching kit I think you would all agree and then you can push this down easily and then you can see you have an extra five fingers of height so this is very practical 
Okay, with that out of the way, you can close this manually. And here are the LED license plates. Now this is some sort of metallic finish color the camera would like to focus, but a uh, new iPhone 13 has this macro lens, so it's kind of struggling. But there you go. And this is the petrol, that's how it looks. I have this uh, holder here not to go down and scratch your clear coat. I uh, think Skoda calls these simply clever features, but it's standard in the group. Now let's get on the uh, back, check the space. Excellent open and closing sound we're used to in Volkswagen. Uh, seals are decent, uh, outside, inside. And uh, we have a tinted rear. So if you see the Roman 5, that means it's factory tint. Little note when buying a used car. Hard plastics on the back, even here, they're kind of uh, made some saving here, just like in the Polo. And uh, this is the speakers on the bottom, a little space for your water bottles, perhaps. And over here, you can push a key, switch it to the side to lock from the inside for the kids. Now, if we knock down the seats, push it here. You can see how that looks and then inside and then these are in the style cloth and leather combo so this might be vegan leather i'm not 100 percent sure but it's a nice detail and then from the interior you have this like uh, carbon fiber imitation so interesting combo and then you can see the physical lights on the top getting inside now I've put this front seat in the lowest position and I was sitting on the front so plenty of feet room plenty of knee room let's close it up good closing sound now over here we have two USB C for fast charging unfortunately no AC and a really tall transmission tunnel so third person only for maybe short distance Seats are nicely profiled going inside on the bottom and the top. Have child ISOFIX points. No more covers so you won't lose them. You have nice and tall windows, even the seat pillar and good overview on the rear. Physical switches for the lights. And for a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. Um, well, I'm hitting uh, slightly with my head because of the sloping coupe roof but this is a crossover and for a 190 i would say this would be more than enough so average height plenty of headspace and a little quick on the b pillar adjustable uh, seat belt on the front but they decided to also remove the top handles for some reason same as in the polo i have no idea why cost saving there so leave comments what do you think about that and front doors also excellent closing and openings now the seals go on the top but they've also kind of saved so over here there's no seals on the side and even here they've removed the z seal it's just on the top but i see the industry doing this for some reason uh, and then standard rubber, rubber on the top uh, tire pressure you can spec 16 to 18 inch alloys but back on the doors have hard plastics uh, on the doors well light when the car is locked uh, lock unlock from the inside this is all nice and robust and then on the front you get a little cloth here soft material power windows folding and heated standard and now and have all automatic power windows you can lock the rear from the driver position speaker on the bottom and these are your manual seats uh, this is for up and down you can uh, use this wheel for the tilt and you have a lumbar support on the life package you don't get that and this is for sliding back and forward but right here's a little space you can put a reflective vest perhaps this one's automatic and standard pedals and since it has iq lights there's no uh, height of the light adjustment on the side 
you just have it here if you put it on a matic for the fog lights you extend it so there you go steering column is manual look on the top and then the seats have a decent bolsters um, this is a nice combo with some sort of leather just gives it a little bit more posher look but it has a nice bolsters on the top they're fairly comfortable okay In, get inside closing sound decent closing sound switching to wide lens and here's the new cockpit because this is uh, from Volkswagen Polo T-Rock and you can see a little bit ambient lights here on the bottom extending only on the front zooming back in uh, new Volkswagen steering wheel we have the nice and smooth leather around flat bottom and thank god we have physical buttons uh, because there's option on the R-Line package you get this in touch and with the capacitive buttons I prefer physicals uh, physical buttons tell me in the comments what do you think and what your personal preference now here's the volume cruise control uh, radar distance pages view options voice commands for the virtual cockpit this is the upgraded one the life package has a new more simple um, digital cockpits if you want to see that check that video it's going to be on the channel and uh, on the top you have soft plastic you have a speaker on the top in the a pillar and it's all soft and over here it's soft only on the bottom it goes hard plastic I really don't understand why the T-Rock got the hard plastics on the top, but I don't know, it's just Volkswagen uh, calculations, I guess, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, screen on the top, have nice two physical knobs, you have the hazards here, you can see them in the mirrors, which I personally love. And then over here, I didn't show you, but this is some sort of gray finish. It's not the matching color of the exterior, but uh, close enough. Slowly opening glove compartment. So you have the SD card on the top. There's the seat belt, excuse me, airbag uh, setup. And here you have coins, business cards. It's fairly spacious. Uh, sort of nice plastic imitating the leather. Not just that plain plastic, it looks awful. And they've ditched the AC inside, unfortunately. The screen is closer to the road the air vents are below and then you have this touch ac in the life you get manual ac which has physical controls now this setup um, is not my personal favorite but it does have a nice simple layout on the bottom we have two usb c's and a rubber mat here i don't think this has a wireless charging maybe it's an option but you can put your phone in there over here we have the start stop off parking sensors rest of the blank here you can put a parking ticket and then we have the i believe seven speed automatic it's a new lever looks elegant and following on the bottom we have still physical handbrake with some nice leather uh, in 2022 uh, all cars will have electronic parking brakes this is designed in 2021 so it still has this if you're a fan of this then I go for it and have a 12 volt outlet here I guess uh, Volkswagen is still keeping the smokers package although that's pretty unhealthy but uh, we all have a choice so there we go and cup holders two and a little space there uh, small armrest it's kind of soft but it can extend but it doesn't have levels so unfortunately and then this is fairly spacious inside but kind of uh, narrow on the front you have those anchors you can see the leather from the inside of carbon fiber imitation but it's kind of nice now this is my view on the front you can see the hood you're in a taller sitting position which you like SUV style although this is more like a crossover and you have the LED lights on the top, have the emergency buttons, and you have the little glasses compartment, nice rubber here, so it doesn't make 
rattling sound. Have the privacy mirror, finally white LED light matching. Have the documents holder here. And does this extend? There's area shining here, so no, it's kind of fixed, unfortunately. Maybe they'll add that in the future. And now uh, you can spec the car, I believe, with a start-stop button. But someone didn't spec it, or this is the early production model. So you have to use the physical key. Some people like this. I don't mind it, honestly. Things boot up, and uh, you can see the Volkswagen digital cockpit. Here you're going to have some welcome stuff. I'm going to lower the speed. Actually, just turn off the climate. Not to uh, have, not to blow into the mic, so you can hear me better. And over here we have the views. So we have that. You can customize the size here, and you have the classical over here. You could switch through the uh, additional information, uh, assists, stuff like that, and you go here to the lane assist, ACC, speed limiter, front assist, back. And you can check through the radio stations. You can check that. Then you can go through the phone if it's connected via Bluetooth, vehicle status. Uh, so there's nothing at the moment. And over here you can go through the range. Can, you can just check these, read it yourself. Oh, it's practical you can you can have multiple options in this one it's more a simple layout and then on this one you can also just switch through these um tell me which setup do you like i think i like the minimal or the classical now over here there's some welcoming options we're going to skip those um now standard even in the life package you get this infotainment standard uh you have shortcuts touch shortcuts on the sides okay so not to, uh, to get steering, uh, the camera focus on the steering wheel. You see better here. We have the menu. This is the standard menu. Uh, vehicle information. Have the consumption stuff like that. The car was just parked. No, it's new. You can set up your digital cockpit here. You can have different views. Uh, you can go here and see driving data, and you can see the vehicle status, TPMS, and stuff on. Here are the settings. You can. See Play here with the lights. Instrument, front, background light, door, background light, football, background light, coming, leaving, home. Front, background light. Let me see if this is the... Well, these are the ambient lights, but it's daytime, so you can't really see them uh, that great. And this, the rest is just classical Volkswagen the navigation wasn't purchased here's the car shortcut menu assistance so you have the take a break distance and lane in this one and then you can play with those switch them on or off over here we have the radio so this screen protection wasn't removed let me just play a demo these are bass speakers uh, it's nice. I can play for too long. Decent basic speakers. Have the media, uh, phone calls work over Bluetooth. Uh, voice wasn't purchased on this one. Neither is this navigation. And uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are only via USB C in this case. That was the whole menu. Of course, you have the pull down menu with some uh, sound. You can control where you want the sound and additional set of features i won't go into details i've uh covered this in my other volkswagen uh cars so this is um very uh, uh detailed you have a lot of options inside if you buy the car you can play with those on the bottom just to show you ac just off on or you can switch on the fan off on you can control the fan speed have the max rear defrost so it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, AC on or off, synchronized, so you have dual zone. And over here you can control the temperature. So it's like this, you just synchronize it here. 
Uh, and then you can control the air blow direction. And that's it. It's pretty simple to use. I like the layout. And you can see here the park reverse neutral drive. So uh, I'm not going to turn the car on, but you can see that this moves and you have the Tiptronic, which probably no one uses. You have the little light. So everything illuminates in white. And then you can see here the ambient lights extending, uh, although it's a little bit daylight. So can't really see them that good, but uh, overall a nice layout. Uh, over here you have the goodbye message, you have your status, and let's get to the front. Let's pop the bonnet up and show you the front, and then we're going to check the spec. So we open uh, right side of the badge, with a finger push it to the left. You have to use the little leg there, and this is the... Uh, 1.0 TSI three cylinder. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was something around 110 or 15 horsepower. The cool thing is you wash your fluid, you have the sound insulation, little rubber on the top there and the bottom. Nothing on the sides. Let it drop. And now we can check the spec. So this is the, again, 1.0 TSI uh, with the seven speed automatic, 110 horsepower style package. Uh, average consumption is almost, almost six liters, and we have the uh, Rao gray metallic color, pale gray interior, and we have some additional uh, options like a Climatronic with two zones, digital cockpit, 10 inch, uh, and uh, tinted rear windows, and package with the uh, automatic lights and something like that. This is the uh, price in the euros i'm going to type it below and then we have the continental tires that came with the car okay there are some customers now continuing on so these are the daytime running lights and what i love on the taigo is that they connect in the middle at least uh, starting from the style package now uh we're gonna check the rear as well so very beautiful signature on the rear on the Taigo because of the LED connected bar and I'm a really fan of this it looks quite elegant especially because it's connected now I'm gonna turn on the hazards for you now turn signals for the hazard lights are uh, on the sides I wish they were dynamic perhaps but it is what it is and then on the front we get to this side you can see uh, the top turns into the turn signal and the sides are still or the bottom is still white connected and to turn on the headlights and the fog lights on the front there so of course the fog lights work as cornering lights and you can see the IQ lights on the top and this of course looks way better than the life package where you just get standard projectors but they're also LED but this is my personal uh, favorite I don't think I've turned on the rear fogs uh, actually I did you can see it on the uh, left side you also have on the other side a white reverse light so you can see that very elegant despite being a entry model it is very elegant uh, leave your lights on automatic because uh, don't drive in night with your daytime running lights that's just not safe especially if you're outside the city so everyone, thank you for watching. If you want to see the uh, life package again, subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. Uh, stay safe at home, at road, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you in the next year. Bye.